I want to be ambitious. I think ambition is a thing a lot of people shy away from, but I would like to lean into it as best as I can. I really want to be as technically brilliant as I possibly can be at painting. I want to have a good collection of high quality work, but I want to be prolific. I want to be creating pieces steadily and it can be hard. And I've got a lot of excuses about why I can make that not happen. I have a full-time job and there's not much time for me to be super prolific right now. But if I want to be great, some things need to be sacrificed and I need to try to keep the hammer down and just be aggressive as I can on making my best and boldest paintings. The best thing that I can do for the stage that I'm at in my career is to just make as many paintings as I possibly can, as many high quality finished paintings as I possibly can. I had bought a whole bunch of canvas panels and I had worked my way through most of them, but I'm left with my larger sizes. And because of that, I'm embarking on making my biggest painting ever. It can be quite daunting and intimidating to approach that blank canvas, but for some reason, I felt pretty good about doing this one. I just feel that I'm on a new path now and this is just what I need to do to progress and to get to where I want to be eventually. I had taken my little cousin out on a photo shoot last year and I had bought her this dress and hat and shoes and one of the places that we went, she was chucking rocks into this river and I arranged it all in Photoshop and I came up with this really good composition that I thought would work quite well on this canvas and I was actually really excited to paint it. For a lot of my paintings, I'm using copyright free images, but eventually my goal is to get my own models, to buy my own costumes, to take them out on photo shoots and to get my own reference material to build up to make the paintings that I want to make. And it's just so many steps to get there it's like I need to baby step my way forward and taking photos for me is a new skill. Arranging timing with models and discovering models and trying to find people that would be a good fit for me and for what I want to say with my paintings. Having the resources, meaning time, money, energy to find and get props, costumes. I say costumes, though it's just dresses and hats and shoes, but costumes, props, arranging everything, scheduling everything, getting that all done so that I can really paint a lot more during winter time. It's like, it's a lot. There's a lot to be figuring out. And I don't expect to have all of the answers to all of my problems right away. But I feel that I need to slowly start marching down the path that I want to. Eventually, I want to yeah, just make my own paintings. I want to take my own reference material. I want to make my own paintings fully original, just be crushing, making the best paintings that I possibly can, figuring out the best techniques that work with me for what I want to say with my works. But it's a journey to get there. You have all these ambitions for what you want to do, but you don't necessarily have all the skills and resources to get there. So part of your job as an artist is to collect all those skills to collect the time, to collect the money, to collect the resources that you need to do to get to where you want to go, basically. Like there's a gap between who you are and who you will be and you need to slow, yeah, there's a gap between who you are right now and who you will be, who you want to be. And you need to start closing those gaps. For me, doing this painting was like pretty cool because it was, it's like a step in the right direction towards a lot of things. There's a lot of things that I thought that I did quite well in the sense of technically painting it, but also in the sense of like, I took that photo, I arranged it, I did the composition, I got the canvas, you know, I did everything. I've done everything. Like this is a, just one of the works that's like totally original to me. It's like my own photo, my own idea, my own everything. Like I picked the dress, I picked the hat, I picked the shoes. I got her to throw. I didn't get her to throw once. I got her to throw like so many times. That day that I took her out, I, I think I took 1200 photos and I ended up with about five or six that will become finished paintings. And so, and I mean, I paid for it. This painting to me feels like kind of crossing the threshold, I guess, of doing the things that I want to. And yeah, it's really cool. It's kind of giving me a bit more promise and hope that I can get to where I want to be eventually. Yeah, when I first started out, I knew that I wanted to like hire models and do my own original works, I guess, basically. But it's like, how the fuck do you get there? I didn't know because there is no set path. 
In the book Range by David Epstein, he talks about some things being fixed domains and some things being wicked domains. A fixed domain would be something like chess where all the pieces move in a certain way. There's fixed rule set. And it's just like, if I go here, you go here. If I go here, you go here. But there's these other things called wicked domains. And those are highly volatile. There's no set path. There's no set rule set. And having a career in the arts is completely a wicked domain. And in the book range, the general premise of the book is that it's better to be a generalist in a wicked domain setting. But the thing can be to get all those generalist skills up to a level of competence. Like I would like to be really good. I would like to be as the best that I possibly can be. And I think that's probably pretty high. Like I think I'm smart enough. I think I work hard enough that I could get to a high level if I applied myself at a lot of different things. But there's a difference between thinking that you can get somewhere and actually getting there and like getting all your skills, all your general skills up to a good enough place that you are putting it all together, I suppose. It takes a lot of work. And like when you're first starting out, it seems so daunting. It's like, oh no, I need to learn how to take photos. I need to figure out lighting and composition and how to pose and how to schedule and then how to do the actual painting and then marketing and who the hell is going to buy all these things like there's so many little things to figure out and it seems like you have this never ending list of tasks in front of you but the only way to get there and to get over it is just to start doing it there ain't nothing to it but to do it and you just have to start taking the next steps that are in front of you. While I do have a lot of ambition for where I want to go, I feel like I'm finally making progress. And this painting for me, from start of the photo shoot all the way to the realization of the finished piece, I'm really proud of. And I think it's a step in the right direction. And I can see myself a little bit more clearly getting to where I want to go now. And I feel like that gap between who I am right now and where I want to be, I can feel that closing and I can, I can see the path there more clearly. If you want to see photos of the finished piece, check out my website, scotthebert.art. Sign up for my newsletter while you're there. Subscribe to this channel and I'll see you later.